is my spoilery review of Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. If you haven't read this book, click away now because I'm going to be talking about a lot of spoilers in this book. I did do a non-spoiler review, so I'll link that somewhere. Make sure you check that out, read this book, come back, and we can talk more about this amazing, amazing book. Let's jump on into all of the amazing things that happened in this book. I want to start by talking about Audrey, of course. I loved how the book was set up to seem like she was writing it. It was from her point of view and with the movie transcripts it just felt like everything was unfolding in the here and now. It also had a lot of pop culture references as you guys might have picked out. They went to Starbucks a lot. So I think that in a few years when people go back to read this book it will be an accurate representation of what it would be like to be a British teenager living in 2015, which is really, really interesting. She was so relatable and I just loved getting to know her thought process. I thought that it was really relatable and Sophie Kinsella did that part of the book extremely well, which I was a little bit nervous about going in, but I was definitely not disappointed. I could definitely relate to her and Linus's relationship and how Linus always seemed to keep her grounded with his rational thinking when she was kind of spiraling out of control. He was really her rock and I loved, loved, loved that about their relationship because it was so relatable and so believable and you don't really get that type of thing in YA a lot. The only thing I didn't like about Linus is when he would get upset at Audrey but you don't know if he was really upset or if Audrey was just mind reading as they called it in her therapy which might have been the case. Another part that I didn't really care for is how Linus was introduced. I didn't like that he was kind of just one of Frank's random video gaming friends and how the first time he came over to the house he wanted Audrey's number. There was just something about that that didn't sit well with me but I can't put my finger on it. Another thing I didn't really care for, but it ended up not really bothering me in the end, is how much of the book was focused on the relationship between Anne and Frank with his video games and she didn't want him to play video games and just everything that was going on with that. I like that even though there were big chunks of the book that were dealing with this conflict, the story still overwhelmingly felt like it was Audrey's story and she was just a fly on the wall witnessing what was happening. I did think that Anne was a little bit more eccentric and dramatic than she probably could have been, but I think that she was intended to be kind of the comic relief for the book and the whole balance between light and dark topics worked really well in my opinion. The whole inter-family relationships were really relatable and really believable and I just loved how everyone was there for each other, which you don't really get a lot in YA. And I thought that it was funny how much focus was put on Anne being just kind of crazy and obsessed with the Daily Mail and would get crazy ideas in her head. And then of course when Audrey went missing, which my heart absolutely dropped when that happened, I thought that the title took on a whole new meaning to the story and I was so worried that it was going to end with her not being found. It was nice to see how the family really pulled together and you got to see how much Frank really does care about Audrey, which I think was a really important thing to see in the book because you hadn't seen a lot of Frank's emotions throughout the course of the book. So I really liked that section. Another sub-theme, I don't know if this was intentional or not, could definitely be thought fixation or obsessions because obviously, you have the main thing where Audrey has obsessive thoughts that contribute to her anxiety, but the mom is also obsessed with the Daily Mail 
and Frank is obsessed with his video games to some degree. Chris, the dad, is obsessed with luxury cars. So it was just interesting to see everyone's sort of obsessions and fixations and I really liked that. I don't know if it was intentional or not because I thought it was really interesting. This was such an amazing book and I don't really say that about every book that I read. It just really had everything that I look for when I'm trying to pick up a contemporary and honestly even though there were some things that I didn't really care for I wouldn't change a single thing. So let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this book Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella and also let me know if you like this whole spoilery review thing and I'll definitely do more of those for other books that I read. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!